anything that is data crunching, anything that's analysis is screwed. Um, we will need fewer designers. We will need fewer developers. We will need fewer product people, fewer accountants. Uh, so so you're talking about white, white collar. It's the first time white it's been it's attacking white collar work. For 83 million jobs will be displaced by AI and automation by 2027. That's a ton. Um, but there's going to be 69 new roles created, 69 million. 100 to 800 million jobs globally could be displaced by 2030. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, these people who are putting effort into researching and guesstimating, it's big. It's something very interesting, doesn't it? The world's <clears throat> population is going up like this. And this technology is bringing the need to work or reducing the amount of people employed yeah. like this. So there's going to be an inflection point where, you know, there's more people not working than working according to this, th their stats. Uh, and a big thing about this, which is really different from any other uh, revolution or evolution, I should say, um, is it's attacking all levels of the workforce. This is completely different. Because everyone is talking about it reducing the amount of people working. So inevitably, this is actually going to affect a country's GDP. Because the less people are working, the less money they have to spend, the less that they can import because no one wants to buy it. So I don't even know how that works in terms of governments and countries. It means that the rich are going to get richer. There's going to be a bigger difference between the rich and the poor. But the rich have to spend that money to keep the company going, which is the countries. No idea what's going to happen.